Yo, what's up guys? Rago here from Akai. So this week, we're gonna do a quick comparison on two kites from Duotown, and that is their light wind kite, the Juice, and their single strut kite, the Mono. And we've done a comparison video on these a couple years back, but over the years, these kites have evolved and there's actually been a lot of changes. Now, we had the chance to test these kites in the Canary Islands, in Spain, and as well back here, and while they have been redesigned, there are still a lot of similarities to the original iterations of these kites. And for this video, I'm going to keep it way shorter. And we're going to get right to the point and cover all the new things that you need to know about these kites. And as well, since this is just my take, please leave some comments and share your experiences on these two kites in the comment section. And let's make this a real review by uh, helping everybody understand where these kites fit in the lineup and what your experience has been. So let's get to it. So first things first, let's talk about what these kites are designed for. Now the Juice is a three strut, light wind specific kite with some foil applications designed into it. And the Mono is a single strut kite aimed more towards free riding and as well with some surf and foil characteristics built into it. And the biggest difference here is the Juice is more refined. So it has three struts and with that comes what I think is slightly better performance or at least more similar performance to what you're likely used to when flying standard all around kites, five strut kites, three strut kites. And with the Mono being a single strut kite, it's different in a few ways. So it's incredibly direct. Um, being so low aspect, it's incredibly responsive. And with some of the newer changes, both of these kites have been reduced significantly in their weight. And that's likely the biggest change for this year, and it doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but when it comes to light wind kites, this is huge. So the lighter the kite, the less wind that you can get them out in. So whether you're traveling or you're trying to push the bottom of the barrel on your twin tip or hydrofoiling, it's gonna be a huge perk for the year. And as well, it looks like they have removed some pulleys. So again, when you take a pulley off the bridle of a kite, what you get is something far more direct. And with the Juice, I've mentioned in older videos that the kite had more of a delay to it. And partially this was because of not only the larger size, but because of the pulleys. So when you have no pulleys on the bridle, you get a much more direct response while steering the kite. So again, this is another huge plus in the design this year. And uh, as well, for 2020, they've added more low end to the Juice. Now in 2019, I believe they actually reduced some of the low end grunt to make it a little more foil friendly and now they're bringing that back. And just for perspective, I always regarded the Juice as the most powerful light wind kite. It was the gruntiest of all the light wind kites. So typically when I would go out on a 15 meter Juice, I might actually choose a 17 meter Contra because that 15 Juice just seemed to have that little extra low end that all the other light wind kites were lacking. So for 2020 you can expect that typical low end power from the original version of the Juice to be there. Now with the Mono, it seems that they have uh, upgraded this kite and really put some more thought into hydrofoiling. So you're getting better drift out of the kite this year. It has more responsive turning. So for hydrofoiling, what we found, aside from riding on a really light kite that you can get it in the air and incredibly small amounts of wind, having that uh, that extra response and some of those surf characteristics are something that hydrofoilers are after. You're way more um, engaged with flying your kite and you're doing a lot more maneuvers while you're pivoting, whether you're trying to make it drift a little bit or do some down loops that aren't gonna pull you off the hydrofoil board. So things like that uh, have been thought out and kind of redesigned into the kite. So you can expect the 2020 version of the Mono to just be that much better with hydrofoiling. Now, when it comes to where these kites fit, I said that the Juice is aimed at light wind riding and the Mono is aimed at a bit more of a light wind free ride. And with that said, in comparison to other kites, the Mono is still not quite as refined as something like the Evo or the Rebel or any of the other 
free ride kites that have more struts and a bit more design capabilities. So you are making some small sacrifices for the benefits of hydrofoiling. And uh, on that note, if you are a, uh, a light wind rider and you're looking for something for hydrofoiling, either one of these kites would be a good choice. But what it comes down to is if you're going out on a twin tip more in the lightest of winds, I would still say the Juice is likely a better fit in my opinion. And then if you're more on that surf, hydrofoil, free ride, light wind side of things, you might like the Mono. It's, it's more direct. It seems like some freestyles are actually using this kite for some unhooked light wind things. And that's something I've not tried myself and I'll definitely get out there this year and give it a go when I have a chance to ride the newer Mono again. And as well, in previous videos that I mentioned that the Mono and most of the single strut kites just felt unrefined compared to other kites. And you can expect the newer durations to have more refinement to them. And if you are considering going for a lightweight travel option, uh, the Mono would be a good choice for you. One thing that you should know about the Juice is it is specific to your weight. So if you're gonna go for the 11 meter, they recommend that for people who are under 55 kg. And if you're a hydrofoiler, then they say you can take the 11 meter out in roughly eight to 15 knots if you're a rider who is between 55 to 80 kg. You would want to choose the 13 meter if you were going on a twin tip, that would be the 55 to 70 kg rider. And for hydrofoiling, somebody who's like 81 to 95 kg. Now for the 15 meter, if you're on a twin tip, you would want to be in that weight range of 71 to 85 kg. And if you're hydrofoiling, that 15 is great for those riders who are above 95 kg. And then, like I mentioned, this kite is really powerful. So you only really need to go for the 17 if you're on a twin tip and you're over 85 kg. So in summer here, what you get between the two kites is the Mono is way more reactive. It's catered towards free riders and uh, hydrofoils who want a more reactive kite. And then the Juice, it's more of that light wind kite incredibly powerful, incredibly grunty, and uh, even though there are no pulleys, it's still a larger kite, so it is a bit slower, but on the plus side, because it is such a powerful kite compared to the other light wind kites, you can often size down on the juice compared to a larger, so where you might be on somebody else's 17 meter, you could be on the 15 meter from the juice, which in turn is going to make it a faster, more responsive kite, and for reference, I have done some like back roll hand drag kite loops on my 15 meter juice and I felt perfectly comfortable doing some of those more basic loop based tricks. So you, you actually can do loops with the, uh, the 15 juice. It is fast and responsive enough. And when I say that, I'm actually referencing the older slower juice, not even the, uh, the newer 2020 that has no pulleys that is faster and more direct. So all in all, we live in good times with kiteboarding. Um, the gears, it's come a long way and it's just getting better. And while there's been no like revolutionary redesigns of this gear, it is incrementally better to the point where it seemed like a good time to update that original video that I did from two and a half years ago. So if you've flown these kites, please leave your feedback, share your review with everybody else so they can understand what your experience has been with these kites. And until next time, this has been Raga.